So, anywho, I am here in Vegas, Las Vegas, and I am staying at the Bellagio. And uh, I'm in a suite, and I believe the suite is called the Salute Suite at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. So, guys, okay, back in November, I stayed in um, Caesar, and Caesar was good. Uh, I think I forgot what was the sweet I had there it was actually pretty good it was big it was actually bigger than this one but it was kind of like old-fashioned but it was still nice though this right here I like the colors it's giving you like Vegas old but at the same time I think it's the colors that pop for me it's giving me more life here so anyway so we're gonna start off with the so it's kind of like almost like a foyer or I guess you say lounge area bed and um, bathroom are you guys ready for this? I just think it's so beautiful. Really, one second. Bye. Okay, camera, focus in. Focus in, camera. Let's get that. So, as you can see, soon as you walk in, you have your desk right here. This desk with this beautiful, the light snake print material. Then you have this little area where you have your mirror come on camera i need you to watch got it then you have this beautiful couch i love this color it's like an aqua with a hit of um green pillows like uh, what would you call that lime green or no nah, not lime green anyways green pillows um it's just nice it's just, and then you got the view of the expressway in the back and then not only that over this couch if you go over this couch let me show you here we go here we go over the couch over the couch Bye you see the pool area so that is pretty cool too so as you can see let me get a little closer so you guys can see oh there you go so that's all the bellagio right here hey helicopter yeah so hold on let me stand up so you guys can get a good view of this i said i'm not gonna go into sunday to chill by the pool it's pretty decent it's not really as packed as i thought it was gonna be but pretty decent but I'm loving every bit of this hotel. When I tell you this resort, loving it, beautiful. So as you can see, you have the bed. This is a king size bed. A king size bed, look at it, beautiful. Look at the wall, beautiful. The couch kind of matched the um, pillows over there. Then you have the sitting area over here. And this is pretty cool too, cause You get to see the front where you see what well, I think that's the Paris Hotel across the street. Then you have the fountain where you have the fountain show. So I definitely got to catch that later on tonight or sometimes after this week. Look who's performing, but I won't be able to go see him. Usher is performing in Vegas. And I seen some videos from that show and it looked like it's going to be lit. Uh, well, it looked like it's lit. Uh, but anywho, uh, and my room sit across from the what else the cosmetologist i think i just said that right if i didn't oh well so yeah now you guys know my favorite part of a hotel well hold on let me get to this so look at this so you have your bar self serve bar and you have your snacks look at this pretty cool let's go in here everything you want everything you need but you know what i think i'm going to skip on this because this stuff is like an arm and a leg so if you really really balling like that <laughs> good for you one day i will get there um but i tell you this stuff is not cheap at all not cheap i think the fiji bottles is like 20 dollars. but if you got money that's what it is so let's get into what i love the best let me tell you I love me a bad ass bathroom and this bathroom is bad so here you go guys oh so I didn't have this on all day I actually just came from out walking I had to go get an SD card that's why today's my second day vlogging I mean today's my second day here and it's my first time being able to blog blog so anyways let's get into the bathroom okay let's start over as you walk into the bathroom you see this beautiful mirror, yeah. 
and uh, you know, he, she and he sync, that's what they call it. Then you have a makeup area. I don't have to put on no makeup, so I don't have to worry about that area. Then you have this area. It opens, so hold on, let me get this so you can see that. So let me open it for you. And it's just like a little closet space area. Very nice, very nice. But one thing I do like, I think I stayed in a hotel before. I think I stayed in a hotel before. I don't know if I ever vlogged it, but um, that got the mirror. I know I'm kind of late. This is not nothing new, but it's still cool, you know, to have the mirror with the TV in it. So pretty cool. Look at that. Get some volume in here. Sensor, why you're not working? There we go. Okay, I'll order one. What is Grey's Anatomy? Yeah. So, you got that. And the cool part is that. What is the cool part? Is? Look at that. I am going to take a bath and I'm going to be naked and I'm going to stand right in front of that window. Isn't this pretty cool? Wow, look at that, look at that. Awesome. You know what, I'm gonna need y'all to get together with this mocha troll. You know what? There we go. Bellagio, you get some more batteries. So you have this little poo poo area. So you have your toilet. I think that's called a boudet. Boudet, whatever you call it, you know. I think that's for the females and stuff like that. And all that stuff. I got trash in already. That's my SD card, SD card that go for my camera. Well, nobody be like, did he say STD card? No. Ooh, so this is the Salou Suite at, um, at the Bellagio, very nice, I love it. So I think I'm gonna go down and go to the gym and um, get me a quick workout in. I think I'm having dinner tonight. And then tomorrow I get out and play out there and see what's going on. I'm not gonna do too much vlogging. I'm just gonna kinda like chill. Like if you, um, make sure you check out my other um, vlog from Vegas. I did more stuff that time. It was a lot that we did, um, but um, What's up guys, so just getting back in from dinner. Went to the Mirage and had dinner. It was actually pretty good. It was actually pretty good, but now I'm back. I'm about to go to sleep. Sleepy. Tired. Nothing else to do besides go to sleep. And Vegas is crazy. Too many people outside. It is hot as heck outside too, guys. I can't do it. Anyways, this is a little tipsy and I'm just talking crazy right now. So, go to sleep. Deuces. Can you see me?
good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I am up early. Early, early, because I want to go to the gym this morning. And before I get the day started again today, so I'm going to go down to the gym this morning. I went yesterday. Um, it was pretty good, very nice little gym they have. So today I'm going to go in and do some little exercise to get my body up and ready for the day. And then I'm going to have breakfast. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So. Let me head down to the gym. After two steps, I lost my balance. And you know, that's when the color started to change. So I am here inside my hotel room. I just came from downstairs. I walked around for a little minute. I chilled by the pool for a little second. Um, it's actually kind of cool outside right now. You know, I mean, not cool. It's like, it's crazy. They heat is dry. So it's like, you can't breathe. Like to me, I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like you in an oven getting cooked. Now I'm not used to that, you know. Miami, it get hot, but at least we have a little breeze and it's, it's a wet. I mean, I don't know if I'm describing that right or I'm saying that right. It's just different. Here it's like, it's hot. It's like, just imagine you open up an oven. You know how the heat hits you? That's how it is. It's like, just imagine walking down the street and that's all you feeling on your body. And it's crazy. But anyway, so earlier, I went to Red Rock Cane. Um, it actually was like a last minute thing because I really didn't plan for to do anything like to go to on any excursions or to visit anything out here. Kind of just want to chill on the strip. Um, I really kind of just want to chill at the hotel and just maybe do a little, few little things around here. Last time I seen this strip, walked the whole thing and everything, um, did the whole tour. But so, I mean, it really ain't too much that I haven't seen. Uh, I mean, but there's a lot to do here. But um, I saw on Instagram um, that, you know, what it was, Red Rock um, Canyon. And I was like, oh, I want to go there. So I actually ended up going over there. Uh, it was actually pretty nice. It's like 30 minutes from the strip. 
Um, I believe there's a fee for the visitor center. Um, I think you go on a tour or something like that. You can, you can go horseback riding out there. There's a lot of other things that you can do out there, but it's called Red Rock Canyon. Um, I think it's Natural Park. I think so. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so I'm back in the hotel and I'm just chilling. Uh, later on, I'm gonna go down and see the water fountain show. Uh, that's about it. Just chilling. Uh, I went to um, LMA Soul Food Place. It's my second time going back there where she got these big old oxtails that I love. Um, it was actually pretty good. I wasn't able to eat all my food. It's still sitting on the table back there. And not only that, I don't have a microwave to warm it up, but I'm going to eat it cold. I don't care. I don't care. But yeah, as you can see, I am chilling in the hotel room. And that's about it. Tomorrow, I'm eating at the Stratosphere. I believe that's what it's called. You know, that tall building in Vegas where you can kind of see the city and everything. So you basically having dinner on top of the world. So tomorrow, I will be having dinner on top of the world. But I'm just chilling right now. I got nothing else to say. That's about it. I'm kind of drained. You know, that heat is serious. When I tell you it's serious, I think it's over 100 degrees here. Who got time for that? Not me. And I'm like, ooh, Vegas would be a nice place to move to. Oh no. I will stay my black butt in Miami. But yeah, guys. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else. Let's see what's, I think the pool, pool is closed now. Oh, it still got people in the pool. They supposed to have been closing. That man told me 45 minutes. And 45 minutes and gone already. Some people downstairs being hard headed. Yeah, guys, so. I'm here. I'm mad because that curtain is not working right. I was trying to do a video wide open. It just wasn't working right. Look at Vegas, guys. It's not as packed as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a lot of people down there, but I thought it was going to be packed. But yeah. So this morning I woke up, I went to the gym, uh, had breakfast at the buffet. It was pretty decent. Uh, it was expensive, but there's a lot of food and the food is good, but I wasn't at home, so I feel like I kind of wasted $45 for a buffet for breakfast. And that's not all day, that's just for the day. So I'm heading to the pool now. And, um, oh, she can't even see me. Had to go get a refreshing up from Starbucks. So I know it's pretty hot out here. Yeah. You're welcome. Hello. Oh, where's my keys? Oh, I have to. Yeah. Guys, I'm chilling by the pool right now. Just chilling, relaxing. The weather is actually pretty better. I think because of the shade. The shade is kind of like of the building. This building right here, as you can see. It's blocking the shade, so I mean blocking the sun. So it's a little shady in this area and got a little breeze coming through here. So I know it's probably hot. It's probably gonna heat up later on. But right now I actually feel pretty good. I'm probably gonna jump in the water, take a little dip, then lay back and listen to some music. And that'll be it. Then I got dinner tonight at the uh, Stratosphere, so very excited about that. Last time I wasn't able to do that when I came to Vegas, but tonight it will happen. But yeah. Just get in love. Too scared to love me. Too scared to love.
feel broken Can't believe you can tip feeling hopeless You're not alone in the world, hope you know it If you don't, now you know it But God forbid that I try for you It's a chocolate blueberry truffle that I got, so I'm gonna try. So the other ones that we had got is actually pretty good too. Um, oh, as you can see, it's half, so I ate most of it. I had some other chocolates that I got from them. I believe this is a turtle. That's what they call it, chocolate turtle. But so this is the blueberry truffle. Truffle. I think I'm saying that right. So let's try. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. So, if you're here in Vegas, stop by Red Rock um, Chocolate Factory. It's actually by Red Rock um, um, Canyon. Soon as you come from out, it's a shopping plaza right there. It's actually, I think it's a mall, really, because they got Macy Dillard's. We were all in those yesterday, so. Um, we gotta go. We're not going back over there, but we are going to a mall in a few minutes right now. But, but anywho, I'm about to go out, enjoy the day, go to the mall, probably come back. I'll probably go stop by the water show tonight. Like I said before, I got dinner, and I just feel good today. I just feel like today is a great day to just be awesome and to enjoy the day, and just man, it's just I, sometimes I sit. You know, when I go on these trips, I be like God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you that I'm able to go on these trips. Um, I want to just say God has been really, really good to me. And that's all I can really say. Uh, and I don't have no complaints at all. But anyway. Always wanted you. But God forbid that I try for you. No when I die for you. Too scared to love me. Too scared to love. Too scared to love me. Too scared to love. I think your mind is indifferent. I know your heart is in stitches. I know your faith been afflicted. I see your pain and conviction, babe Hating the choice that you throw at me So I settle for you with no loyalty No if not die for you God forbid it not Yo, yo, yo I am in this room I went to the mall earlier, enjoyed myself They have this big mall here off the strip I wanna say, where is it located at? That I can. Well, it's, it's on the script. It's right off the script, but it's off in the cut. And I want to say that's the. It's somewhere by the Encore. I don't know what other hotel that was. It's a new hotel that they have there. It's like black and red, and it's it's the Hilton. I don't know if it's past that or before that, if I can remember. But anyways, it's a mall that they have here off of the script. So if you're here in the script and you want to go shopping, or you need to buy clothes. There is a nice A mall here. I'm trying not to cuss. Nice ass mall here. Um, it's actually big. They almost they basically have almost every store that you can think of in there. And their clothes, their shoes, everything is nice. Um, I don't know the name of the mall. Um, I don't know the name of the mall. But it's right off the script. Um, and it's actually really nice. But anyways, so yeah, I enjoyed myself there. I went over to Kane's. Now Kane's is this chicken tender place that, um, well chicken tender, it's a chicken restaurant um, that's here. I don't know, this is like the only place that I know that they have it. I'm pretty sure they have them in other places, but I never seen one in Florida or in Miami. So um, 
this is my first time, not my first time, but it's actually my second time, but it's my first time ever hearing about this place when I came to Vegas last time, and I made sure I went there this time again. So they serve you like chicken t um, tenders, that you can do like three, four. I would suggest to, I mean, if you're hungry, hungry, yeah, do four. If you're not really hungry, do three. Because believe me, those chicken tenders will fill you up. Um, and they give you waffle fries, and those are delicious too. Um, you can do uh, sweet tea, lemon, or you can do the fountain drinks. It's pretty good, I like it. Uh, I, actually, today was my second time eating there. When I first got here, the first day I ate there. Um, so, as you can see, it's pretty good. Uh, right now, I want to go over to Fat Tuesday and get me a daiquiri drink. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared because the heat outside is no joke. I think it's like a hundred and something right now. And when I tell you, when you go out there, it's like you being cooked. And it's just ridiculous. Um, so, I want to go walk over there, but it's just like I feel drained. Like the, the heat just like cook you. Like you don't feel like doing nothing. And uh, I don't know. I want to go, but I just don't want to get into that that sun right now but anyways i'm just sitting here just chilling on the couch today right now at this moment and uh i don't know what i'm gonna do guys you know this trip has been like more chill more laid back um so not really planning on doing too much i haven't really did too much kind of just like just been chilling today i went to the pool that was pretty cool um, but this trip has been very cool, just laid back and chill, but yeah, mm -hmm. let's talk about, let's talk about the stay here in Bellagio, as you guys know already, I love the sweet, to me the sweet is everything, um, only thing I had an issue with is here is that these doggone blinds won't open like they supposed to open like you hit a button see those open all the way you don't have no problem you can see but those on the other side the um what it was the blinds the shades whatever they won't open that part won't open the, open. the curtains they open yeah that bothered me yes it did um as you can see the room is beautiful uh when we first got here we, we kind of got stuck because the elevators was out but they're doing construction so I understand that I worked in high-rising buildings and so I understand that you know so I think some of the elevators was going out they was breaking down and stuff but um, they fixed that but I don't know what has been going on because first it's like I don't know if it's everybody coming in at the same time, but sometimes the, the lines get long to get upstairs. And sometimes you just go to the elevator and there's no one there. So I don't know if the elevator's breaking down and they fixing them right away, or someone holding the elevator, or they using the elevator for service or something. I don't know what it is. But every once in a while you come to go back to your room, you run into a crowd at the elevators. Uh, it's not really a bad of a wait. You know, you're probably gonna sit there for a good little minute. I wanna say no more than a good, I won't say no more than 10 minutes. You know, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna wait cause you literally sitting in the line and then you have like the bell man or the security officer who sit there and make sure that you have a key to be in this tower or to come up. So um, that's my only thing, the curtains and the elevator situation. Besides that, everything else is good. The staff is very nice. Even the housekeeper keepers here, they are very uh, nice and very cool. Um, I went to the spa, the gym, the people in the spa and the gym, very nice people. Uh, the service, uh, did I, I don't know if I said something already, but anyways, I don't know if I said something already. Maybe I recorded. I don't know, did I say something about room? Okay, I'm just gonna say it again. So last night, I woke up at 12 o'clock and I was hungry so I ordered room service and um, so I ordered a burger and it came with waffle fries and it was just nice. I actually took a picture of it. It was actually nice the way it was, you know, and it, it, she, said, she said it would take to like 30 to 40 minutes but I think they came a little earlier than that. 
but I was just amazed by you know the presentation itself like and the things that came with it and how they had everything boxed up so beautiful it was like something that you just want to take a picture of it was pretty cool I like that so the room service was excellent I love it the food was delicious when I tell you the food was good it was good I was because I actually was gonna leave and go walk down the street to this burger place um, that they have um, at one of the other buildings and I'm happy I did and I thought about it. I'm like oh no I can do room service did room service and it was excellent um, they have a buffet downstairs that I had this morning for breakfast um, <clears throat> I would suggest okay if you are gonna do okay you it's probably about forty five dollars. It's forty five dollars on the weekend and thirty nine dollars during the weekday. And it's like breakfast. I think they do breakfast. I think they do all foods through the whole day. To me, I mean, if you got it, yeah, do it. It's convenient because it's there, but you can literally go somewhere else and enjoy breakfast. Um, like the day before, I had Denny's. And that was like only what twelve something dollars, I think. And it was basically pancakes and it was a full meal. Uh today paying forty five dollars for the same thing. You know, they have so much food. Don't get me wrong, they have so much food there. And it's a lot of food and it's real good food. But you better be hungry when you pay that money. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Now if you're hungry, you know you wanna eat a lot of food, yeah, then you do that. But if you know you just need something on your stomach, don't pay no don't pay that that's just too much i'm sorry i know i know we in vegas just a resort and whatever but i'm just trying to help you out you know what i'm saying save your money save your money um what else i can talk about here i haven't yet like i'm gonna so later on matter of fact i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna walk downstairs and walk around the building and record and i think i'm gonna go over to fat tuesday and get me something to drink hopefully this song um, be very nice to me because I don't have time for this. What time is it right now? Oh, I probably don't even got time to do that. It's 633. <sighs> you know what I can do? Okay, it's 633. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do that because I got to go to dinner. So I will do it tonight. I will walk around and give a little quick tour of the building. The place is beautiful. Uh, I love it. It's a beautiful place. Um, and I'll probably go get my drink later on tonight if I don't have one at dinner. I don't know. But anyways, Vegas don't owe me nothing like always. And um, Bellagio don't owe me nothing. It's a beautiful um, hotel. I love it. Would I come stay again? Of course. Um, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I don't know how many stars. I just give it a thumbs up. You know, that's what I'm just say. Thumbs up. Um, I love it. I really do. But I'm going to go walk around later on and see what else is going on around here. But until then, I'll see you later. Of a lot, dancing by the 